Hi guys, um, Priscilla here, and um, I noticed I have um, a few new subscribers, so hi to y'all, thank you for following. I just wanted to make a video on how to find and know that you're at a real consultation, like a legit one, with a legit sister law consultant. I've seen so many cra crazy and terrible stories of women and men who, you know, do this, go to somebody who doesn't know what they're doing or you know think this is it but it's actually not so I wanna actually like you know I want to make sure that y'all don't have you know um, terrible stories especially guys who are considering getting sister locks or wanting to know what they are you know so make sure that this is legit for you so I made a ton of things to look for in a consultation and I have an added bonus at the end um, so yeah okay so the first thing is you before you even think about you know your consultation before you even look for a loctician you should do tons and tons of research on sister locks and you know I'm going to put down in the description about somebody that totally inspired me and really made me very secure in my decision to um, be sister locked uh, her name is Crayola. I don't know if that's a real name or not, but they call it Crayola. And it's CrayolasJourney.com, I think. But I'm going to put it in the description box. She has beautiful, gorgeous sister locks. 800 sister locks. So that's a ton, man. Yeah, that's like a ton. But um, it's very beautiful. She has so many tips, so many different things. If you just look in the sister locks part of her blog, she's it's just amazing really amazing I, I think you're really gonna like it she has what's very important the advantage the advantages and the disadvantages if you should get sister locks and what to expect when you get in sister locks okay so she has everything you need there so that could be your research and you can look at other different things there's women on youtube if you search sister locks on the search bar there's tons of, you know tons so Hopefully that would help you, but I really think her blog would totally help you. So I totally recommend checking that out. After your research is to go consultant shopping at the official website, sisterlocks.com, okay? But, yeah, don't, I'll even have it typed right here correctly for you and in the description box too. Because it's very important that you type it in right. Because there are some wolves of sheep clothing trying to get that money. So yeah, go to sisterlocks.com and there should be like a little um, like drop down box or something um, to find a consultant or trainee in your area or somewhere close by at least to you. Yep. So you're going to have between the pick between a, um, a trainee consultant or a certified consultant. The difference is that a trainee, is, which I picked, is somebody who is aiming to become a certified consultant. Um, so the trainee needs three heads, and you know, and then they have to be evaluated. Her work has to be evaluated and sent to the, you know, to Dr. Joanne Corral to, you know, see if she's legit, if she did a good job or not. Um, and um, basically, they're cheaper. Honestly, they're like hundreds of dollars more cheaper because you know they're starting off a newly fresh head and um you know yeah so that's what a trainee basically is a certified one is basically somebody who has years of experience and they cost a lot but you get what you pay for so their work will be amazingly perfect <laughs> like amazingly perfect um trainees I mean it could be perfect yes of course but you know it's not going to be like a certified consultant okay I mean this is my trainees work I think it's amazing I love it the only mistake I have was this piece right here it just accidentally got locked with the other which you know you're about to have a little bit of mistakes but she can easily take it out so I'm not gonna be complaining like, that's one lock like no it's not necessary <laughs> okay. the next thing after you go on the website you find which one you want and you see you know, a person that you're interested in, contact them, okay? You gotta call them. Don't email, because they don't, they just don't have emails. I mean, just don't email them. You'll be just waiting there forever for nothing. Immediately text or call them, whichever way you want. 
And then eventually you have to talk to them on the phone and hear their voice and to, you know, get your answers, um, get answers from them, from your questions. <clears throat> So yeah, and that's the next thing. Ask tons of questions once you contact them. Ask a ton of questions um, that you have on what you researched and everything. You know, test them too. Like, you know, like, you know, um, like, do you have um, size cards? Do you, you know, do you use the sister locks tool to, you know, interlock each lock and all that stuff? You know, test them out too to make sure they're legit also. Don't be afraid. And if they feel like you, like, if you feel as if they are being annoyed by you asking many questions, then don't go to that person at all. That's just a waste of time. Um, they should be glad to answer your questions to experience this awesome, awesome hair technique, man. Like really. Um and like after all the questions and stuff, you should have a good bond and connection with them, man. Like for real. I mean, why would you go to somebody that you don't like to do your hair? And why would you want somebody that doesn't like you to do your hair? So make sure you like them because you're going to be with them for a long time. You're going to be with them until either one, you learn to retighten your own hair when you take retightening class or whatever. Two, you, um, you move or he or she moves away and, you know, y'all can't be together anymore. Or three, death to do y'all do you guys part you know only those three options but basically they're gonna be with you for a while man so you're gonna have to yeah you know like them and they're gonna have to like you and you know after that if you feel comfortable book a consultation now they shouldn't be forcing you to you know they shouldn't be forcing you to schedule a consultation like ASAP you, you know they should make you feel comfortable and on your own time, you know, when you're ready, book the consultation. You know, you shouldn't be forced into it. Okay, so now you're at the actual consultation day, okay? You met your consultant. This is when you meet your consultant, um, you know, and everything. And it should be at least an hour long because you're going to watch a video. And that's, you know, that's something I'm going to talk about later on about the video thing. Yeah, you get your test locks too. So, yeah, that's another thing we'll talk about. Okay, so as soon as you go to her place or a salon, because some offer you know, the consultation and installation at the salon, um, but expect the salon part to be with a certified sister lock consultant. Um, but don't immediately pay as soon as you walk through that door. If you walk through the door and they say, okay, I need the fee like, right now, don't do it. Walk away. Turn around. Get in your car. Go. If you had a ride, flag that ride ASAP. Call them something and get that ride back. Because they shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't just automatically pay them, like, right off the bat. Alright, so, um, okay. So, I'm going to explain to you my process of the consultation, like, what happened to me. Because I went to a trainee, so I don't know if what she did exists in the certified world <laughs> like I don't know because some people say they haven't watched a, the, any video while they were getting their stuff done and stuff so I don't know so this is what happened so I went in there I sat in her chair she wrapped the you know the hair cloth thing around so the hair doesn't fall on me I, I can't think what it is right now and um she um put on a video to, for me to watch of Dr. Joanna talking about stuff and um, while I'm watching the video, she's putting the test locks in my head. And I saw her sister lock tool, too, that she was using. So, yeah, you got to make sure she's using the sister lock tool. I mean, there's some that use the nappy lock tool or whatever. And if they do that, they consider not to be sister locks at all. So, you know, make sure they're using the tool from you. I hear some people, you know, some consultants that hide the tool and that's a little creepy if you hide the tool then that if they're hiding then they're most likely probably using a nappy lock tool on your head or something else or something you know or gelling it or something when they shouldn't be when sister locks is like a no product thing you just use the special tool to make the lock you know so they shouldn't be afraid to show you the tool and i didn't even need to like ask to see it i just saw it when she was you know doing it and when it fell on the floor oh she's very sanitary it fell on the floor and she put um alcohol and really good and cleaned it every time it did like she really cared about my hair 
that much, you know, so that's very important, you know, it shouldn't be sneaky, y'all should be, like, open about everything, really, oh, and then after that, she gave me my receipt for the, um, the fee, um, and a lot of people, you know, I hear some people, uh, you know, writing the fee on uh, just a piece of paper, and I'm like, okay, well, I don't know, and then, like, they, they come back and say, oh, well, you didn't pay that, or you, you missed a few more dollars, or something like that, and that's not good, so, you um, Try to at least, you know, make sure they have a receipt thing, like a real little receipt thing. Um, because, you know, you don't want to be ripped off and stuff like that. Um, and she also, while I was getting, watching the video, uh, actually after it was over, she gave me a book where it showed the process and different textures of sister locks. Um, and stuff which was pretty cool I don't know if they do that neither if if they're certified I don't know I mean this is all from a trainee experience I don't know so all right so you get your test locks in you, they say you should have at least six to twelve in your head but you know as long as you have test locks in here that's all I say as long as you have test locks if you don't have test locks then something's wrong because how are you going to get your cyst locks installed if they don't, you know, test out how your hair reacts when it's locked and that, that small, you know? And, you know, you should feel the parting, too. They shouldn't just, like, take a piece and then do it. They should be able to part your hair in those sections and stuff. And for me, also, like, after everything was done, I had to sign a contract. Um, you know, this is a little things like, you know, for, like, rescheduling. Or not getting my consultant sick if I'm sick not to go to that retightening or whatever if she's sick. You know, all that stuff. It's like a, I don't know, I just signed a contract and and stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, and during that time of the consultation, you know, she should be telling you about it. The processes. You, sh you guys should be talking about your hair history. You guys should be talking about, you know, if your hair is dyed, if you're tender headed, all that stuff. You know, it should be like a real, like this is like you know, a moment where you should really like ask a lot of questions and stuff too um and yeah I mean that's basically it I guess for that part of the consultation oh and a bonus I got a bonus I wanted to actually talk not just about the consultation but also the installation day there's a few things you should, you should look for because you know your consultation day could be great but on the installation day, she could be doing something that shouldn't be done either. You know, you just never know. You gotta be prepared, right? So, what I have written down is a few things. Like, uh, you don't pay the total cost on the first day. Unless, you know, if you're a certified one and you have two people working on your head. Because it's possible. There there are some people who have two people working on your head and finished it all in one day. Maybe like 10 hours or so. 10, 12 hours. And, um like um then that's when you can pay the whole thing but not like before they install it like no don't do that so you yes also i forgot make sure you tell them what you want like how you want your hair look like if you want micros in the front tell them if you want not micros with small or medium in the front you rather have bigger in the back tell them they will work with you and your hair type and stuff, okay? Just tell them ahead of time before the installation day. That's what I forgot to tell you. That's very important. And, um, let's see. They shouldn't be using any products to lock your hair at all. All they should be using is the Cisar tools and sometimes maybe a spray bottle of water. Because she, after mine were done, she just sprayed my hair with water. That was it. And she made sure that, to tell me that before she did it, too. It's like, you know. So, no products. No products whatsoever in your hair should be used. Because Sister Locks is a product-free locking technique. You just use a tool, and that's it, to lock your hair. And make sure they give you a receipt um, once you pay it at, at the last day of your install. Once all your locks are in, that's when you should pay it, and you should get a receipt. Um... Or some other type of way where it shows and proves that you paid for what you got. So that's basically it for that and the consultation and stuff. 
and um and your retitan your first retitan should be included in the package okay your first one should be included so that whole thing it it came with your consultation your installation and your first retitan after the first retitan all the other retitans you have to pay um whatever it is it could be hourly it could be just like an all in one thing or whatever so um heads up on that because some people charge they some people charge people for their first retaining when in reality that's not even true you're supposed to get for free because that whole amount that you paid was for your install and your first retightening so yeah i'm just trying to keep it real with you. i want you guys to not get gypped off and you know and lied to i don't want y'all to have a horror story i don't want anybody to have a horror story um, so I hope this really helped y'all. I really hope that this was definitely helpful. I know this video is long, but you know, it's worth it. I just feel as if it's worth it and that you guys should totally know what you should do and what she or he should do with your hair. Um, cause sister locks is a big deal, man. It is such a big deal and you want it to come out right. So yeah, so that's basically it. I hope you all have a very blessed day and, um, Thanks again for subscribing. Oh, and one more thing. Oh my gosh. Today is my mom's consultation with my um my consultant. And she's very nervous about it. She's a little scared because um her front is like bald kinda and um she hopes and prays that sister locks will still work for her. Um, and help that part grow out at least for her so that she can be able to rock it. So please play, play, pray that she, you know, can get these done. She really wants it. So yes, congratulations to my mom. <laughs> and um, I'll just see y'all soon. Um, I guess you're a Sunday or Monday or something. I don't want to set a date because anything can happen. Satan is, you know... On top of all that, to make sure I miss filming, but you know, Lord's got this. So, yeah. <sighs> Have a great day, guys. Have a very blessed day, and take care. And um, go sister locks. <laughs> oh, look! I'm sorry, I'm white, but I totally forgot one more thing to look for. Also. There are some people out here in this world that actually call sister locks, sister locks. Let me just repeat that again. Sister locks, not sister. So if you go to your consultation and they keep calling them sister locks, they're not sister locks. Don't put up with it, please. For Pete's sake, don't do it. Um, so I just wanted to do that as a, um, you know, a disclaimer also for that so right, see y'all <laughs>